Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number six on work, kinetic energy, and potential energy. I am your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. Work. Work is defined as the force applied to an object times the displacement of, the, of an object. In other words, it may be given as work equals FD, where when F is parallel to D. Work done considering vectors. In the most general case, we may need to introduce vector notation so that work becomes defined by work equals f dot product delta d, or simply work equals f d cosine theta, where theta is the angle between f and d. If the displacement is in the opposite direction, the work is considered negative. We can also express work as an integral, as equation 4. Network. The network is the sum of the works done by the various forces. The network may be positive if the object is speeding up, negative if the object is slowing down, or zero if the object maintains constant velocity. Work expressed as an integral for a variable force f of x, we may obtain the work obtained. We may obtain the work done by the integral work equal integral over f of x dx. We will simply take the area under the curve. Figure one shows the work done by a variable force. Kinetic energy and the work energy theorem. Consider a mass moving along the x-axis under the action of a constant net force F equals mAx. The speed changes from V1 to V2 while undergoing a constant displacement S e undergoing a displacement S equals x2 minus x1. You may simply write using kinematics equation number six. You may solve for the force. So obtain the acceleration and then multiply that by the mass. Work is simply given by work equals F times S. Thus we have work total equals K2 minus K1, where K is a kinetic energy. Work total is equal to the change in kinetic energy. The work done by the net force on a particle equals the change in the particle's kinetic energy. Power. Power is the amount of work per unit of time. P equals W over T. Instantaneous power is written as the product of force multiplied by velocity. 
uh, we, we, sim we consider the dot product as p equals f dot v. The units of power are watts. One watt equals one joule per second. Example one, a body of mass m it drops from a height h above the Earth's surface. What will its speed be when it strikes the ground? I may write work equals mgh, delta k equals k2 minus k1 equals half mv squared minus half mv naught squared equals to half mv squared, where the v0 is equal to 0, mgh is equal to half mv squared. So we can simply obtain the velocity. We saw for the final answer, v equals the square root of 2gh. Note that this result is independent of the mass of the object. Example 2. A spring of spring constant k equals 1000 newton per meter is compressed by 0 0.050 meters by an object of mass 100 gram that hits the spring with a speed v. What v is needed for this compression? half mv squared equals to half kx squared. So we simply equate the, ki the kinetic energy to the potential energy. v equals xk over m, squared k over m. So we simply obtain v equals 5 meters per second. Potential energy. The amount of potential energy an object has is generally dependent on the position. We will investigate two examples of potential energy, such as gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. Gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is determined by the height. W grav equals Fs equals negative mg y2 minus y1. If y2 is greater than y1, so we are ascending, the work done is negative. y1 is greater than y2, the work done is positive. Uh, the gravitational potential energy function is given by U grav equals mgy. W grav equals negative. Okay. So, uh, for example, if we consider a spring, elastic potential energy, we can consider a spring with spring constant k displaced by x from the equilibrium position, and the potential energy is given by u equals half kx squared. Um, so, applying the conservation of energy, so kinetic potential at point 1 equals kinetic potential at point 2, we apply in k1 plus u1 plus w other equals k2 plus u2. Relation between force and potential energy. The force is related to the derivative of the potential energy function f of fx of x equals negative du dx. For springs, this is equivalent to f of x equals negative kx. The amount of work done can be related to the change in potential energy w equals negative delta u. Potential energy function of a spring. So uh, here in figure two, we've plotted uh, different potential energies for k equals one newton per meter solid, 
and k equals 10 newton per meter dashed. So uh, we see that the greater the, the spring constant, the greater the potential energy for given displacement. Conservative and non-conservative forces. Conservative forces can be derived from a potential energy function. The gravitational force can be derived from the gravitational potential energy function. The elastic force can be derived from a potential energy function as just shown. Non-conservative forces tend to be dissipative forces and include forces such as friction. Exercise 1. What is the work done by gravity in a 500 kilogram elevator when it descends 100 meters? Solution, W equals F times delta Y, the force is mg, which is 500 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 100 meters, which gives us a work of 4.9 times 10 to the fifth joules. What is the network if it descends at constant velocity? We have sigma f equals to zero, so the work done is equal to the net work done is equal to zero. Exercise 2. An electron accelerates from 5 times 10 to the 5th meters per second to 1.0 times 10 to the 6th meters per second. A. What are the final and kinetic, initial and final kinetic energies? B. What was the work done in the electron? Part A. We can simply find the initial kinetic energy from Ki equals to half MeVi squared. To solving, we obtain initial kinetic energy is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. For the final kinetic energy, we obtain 4.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Part B. The work done is given by the change in kinetic energy. Work equals Kf minus Ki equals 3.4 times 10 to minus 19 joules. Exercise 3. The quartic oscillator has the following potential energy function. U of x equals ax to the fourth, where a is a constant. What is the force f of x? We may simply find the force by taking th negative du dx, gives us negative 4ax cubed.
Exercise 4. A 1.93 kilogram block is placed against a compressed spring on a frictionless 27 degree incline. The spring, whose force constant is 20.8 newton per centimeter, is compressed 18.7 centimeters, after which the block is released. How far up the incline will the block go after, before coming to rest? Exercise 4 continued. Solution. Let D be the distance measured with respect to the compressed position. The initial potential energy from the spring is equal to the final gravitational potential energy. In other words, we can write half kx squared equals mgd cosine theta. Where we have theta equals to 90 degrees minus 27 degrees, and the spring constant is 20.8 .8 newton per centimeter. We can subsequently obtain D from solving the above equations. And this numerator half kx squared divided by mgd cosine theta.